new members of the International Space Station's Expedition 42 crew are each living a dream of spaceflight that inspired them in childhood. Air Force Colonel Terry Virts is a native of Baltimore who grew up in nearby Columbia, Maryland. His parents worked at NASA, and astronaut was his goal since he was a little kid. And there's something about me naturally that I just love flying in space. When I was a kid, I had space pictures and airplane pictures. My room was, all four walls were completely covered with posters of, of that kind of stuff. Flying remained his passion. And after high school, he went to the Air Force Academy and earned a bachelor's in mathematics. He earned his wings at Williams Air Force Base in Arizona and then flew F-16s operationally while stationed in the United States, Korea, and Germany, while also earning a Master's of Science in Aeronautics from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Virts went to Edwards Air Force Base in California for Air Force test pilot training and worked as a test pilot there until he was selected as a NASA astronaut in 2000. Virts was the pilot and lead robotics operator on the 2010 Space Shuttle mission that delivered the Tranquility Module and the Cupola to the International Space Station. He completed the General Management Program at Harvard Business School in 2011 before starting training for this flight, which he feels is part of the plan to achieve humankind's goal of living off of this planet. There's a lot that we can learn from robotics and it's a, it's a great partnership and they can do things that people can't do, but people can do things that they can't do. And ultimately, it's about us being there and living there. And if we're going to do that, we have to go there and live there. Anton Shkaplerov was born and raised in Sevastopol, the home of the Russian Navy's Black Sea Fleet. Though his father worked on a submarine, Shkaplerov became fascinated with spaceflight as a boy and felt that the Air Force was the best path to cosmonaut. When I was 15 in the 8th grade, I joined an uh, aviation club uh, in Sevastopol. I flew small planes, and so when I turned 16, I got my pilot's license, and I started flying uh, aircraft on my own. After high school, Shkaplerov went to the Kaczynsk Air Force Pilot School in Volgograd and graduated as a pilot engineer. He flew MiG-29s while attending the Zukovsky Air Force Engineering School, then spent six years as a pilot instructor while also flying as a member of the Sky Hussars, a flight demonstration squadron. Shkaplerov was selected as a cosmonaut in 2003 and made his first trip to the International Space Station as a flight engineer on Expeditions 29 and 30 in 2011 and 2012. He retired from the Russian Air Force as a colonel after that flight and earned a Ph.D. in aerodynamics from Russia's Military Aviation Engineering Academy in 2014 while finishing the training for this flight, which he feels is blazing a trail to space for humankind to follow. I'm ready to take all these risks um, to get this shot of adrenaline because I know that every day on board benefits humankind. And when I am on board the International Space Station, I am on at, at the forefront of space exploration. Italian Air Force Captain Samantha Cristoforetti is a native of Milan, but she grew up in the Italian Alps in a small tourist town of Mali where her parents ran a hotel. She doesn't remember a time that she didn't love adventure or want to explore space. I was very fortunate to enjoy a childhood in which you, you can roam around as a child, you know, unsupervised, you don't have adults with you all the time. And maybe that's where I got that taste for adventure that I think is very much part of uh, that desire I always had to, to go to space. Her adventurous nature persisted as she grew up. She spent her junior year of high school abroad in St. Paul, Minnesota, because it was in the country that had the most exciting space program. Then she earned a degree in mechanical engineering from the University of Munich, which included research in aerodynamics done in Toulouse and in solid rocket propellants in Moscow. Next, she joined Italy's Air Force Academy, just as the country first allowed voluntary military service by women, while also completing a bachelor's degree in aeronautical sciences at the University of Naples. Then it was flight training at the NATO school at Shepard Air Force Base in Texas, followed by fighter training. 
And when one of the infrequent astronaut selections by the European Space Agency came up, she applied for the program even though she was doing her operational conversion to the AMX ground attack fighter. She was selected for ESA's astronaut corps in 2009 and is now eager to contribute to making a reality out of her dream. Imagine humanity in 500 years. Do you imagine humanity being still earthbound? Like we still are not able to go anywhere else? It, to me it's being part of the, you know, the first step towards that future that is so obviously part of, of what's coming for, for humanity.